What's up you guys, Sambo here. Welcome back to the new Sammy Vostok Airport. So in the last episode, we had to completely make a new airport because the original one just wasn't working for whatever reason, I don't know. But in this episode, we need to set up a whole new road system to get all of the vehicles from the airport back to the highway and vice versa, and also just get them around the whole area. So it's not going to be a huge new road scheme, but it is going to be something that's really going to benefit the whole area. So you can see we have this huge big mountain range in the middle. Um, we're going to get it to the highway on the right of the screen, and it's a little bit tricky because we have the town, we don't have much space, we have the river, so it is a little bit squishy, but let's get into it. Okay, yes, unfortunately, I have to get rid of these farmlands. Secretly, I never really liked them because the, col the coloring looks a little bit funny, but yeah, don't worry, they've been heavily compensated before their loss. We need to get rid of some of those roads as well because this area is going to be where our new road system is going to go. So you can see we really don't have much space to work with on either side of the mountain range. This road here, so originally this road just came straight into here and met with that roundabout. And then if they wanted to get to the other side, they had to go through the town and it wasn't really, it's just not a good idea for a lot of traffic. because Obviously the airport is going to create a lot of traffic and we already have a lot of truck traffic. We have the farmlands, industrial area, and we have the town as well. So it just wasn't going to work with all of those mixing in together. So we need something that's more direct. So we're going to be continuing on this road right here, but it's going to bypass all of this little, this industrial area and the town but we're still going to give them all of their relevant connections so on and off ramps with both sides and it is going to look a little bit over the top but don't worry i do try to cover it up with some trees so it's not as like wow in your face honestly i would say this is probably the main create creative thing in this episode and you know what <laughs> it's gonna sound silly but i was i quite enjoyed making this because i was like limited with space and I didn't have much space. Yeah, I, dem I demolished some more buildings just because. But I, I mean, I wanted there to be a decent size space between the road because obviously road pollution, the noise pollution, I don't want that right up against houses. So we needed a little bit of a buffer. So there's going to be a lot of trees through here. But like I said, we're going to have our on and off ramps for, for both sides. Um, and then actually, since this area isn't too it doesn't really get too congested. So we can get away with being a little bit more slack with our designs for the actual on and off ramps. But I mean, I do test it at the end of the video or somewhere near the end of the video. You'll see it works quite fine. Now this last little off ramp here, I don't know how you guys are gonna feel about it, but I mean, it's the only option that I could think about to actually get them off this new little highway down onto the, the ground because I needed some kind of exit point here but I just I couldn't work it out because it's quite steep um, we, we, we needed a lot of space to get the road to slowly come down so this was the only option but it does make it seem really really interesting it's a really interesting shape the whole little intersection right here and um, it does work fine like I said there's not too much traffic Trucks can still fit under there, so that's really good. And yes, it is close to all of the existing residential areas, but I do start to fill it in with a lot of trees. So trees now do uh, reduce the amount of noise pollution. So I, I definitely had to put that in because obviously this is going to create a lot of noise pollution through here because it's a lot of truck traffic and there's a lot of other vehicles coming through here. That is for sure. But yeah, look at that. It looks... <laughs> It looks so silly, doesn't it? It looks silly, but I like it. It's fun. I love building things like this, especially in really tight places. It is so good. So let's put in all those trees. Once I put in the trees, honestly, you guys, it doesn't look that bad because you don't really notice at all. And like I went down onto the ground. I don't, I don't think I show it in this video, but I went down into first person, had a look around. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that obvious. Like you wouldn't really notice it's there, to be honest. You only notice it because you're up high looking down at it. But anyway, let's move on to the other side. So we'll get that tunnel going straight through, right through there. So I'm pretty sure I set the speed limit at like 130 kilometers an hour, which is really, really fast um, for you guys using miles. I don't know, it's over a hundred miles. That's for sure, it's pretty fast. But um, yeah, so it'll come back around here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have three different 
separate road systems going through here. So the first one is going to be the main road, which is this one. And then that's obviously going to have the three lanes on either side. So lots of, lots of space for them to merge and then downgrades here. So then what I'm going to do is put a little road that goes underneath it and that'll act as just a little entrance and exit lane for the farm areas and also if they want to get over to the um, incineration plants and stuff like that. So at this point it downgrades because when we get actually to the airport area, I don't want six lanes right there, but that's just way too much. So it downgrades to two on either side, then it goes smaller as you'll, you'll see later on. But then, so that's the first road going through here. The second one is going to be the local road. So the local road is going to go from the existing town up there that we try to bypass. And then it's just gonna go through the farmlands and also connect up to here. So you can see there, there's that road that just goes to nowhere. So it's gonna connect up to there. I thought it's good just to have that anyway, because we're also gonna have a bus, a little bus line that goes through there. And um, I didn't want that bus line actually on the road. Now, speaking of bus lines, that brings us to the third road that's going to be in through here. So we have this existing bus line that goes from the airport and then it just meets up here. But what I'm going to do is disconnect it from that roundabout because that's not a good idea to have the bus is going through the roundabouts. I don't know why I did that, but then it's going to go through this little area here. And a lot of you guys are saying, make sure you put in the hotel. So this is going to be a little hotel area. So the buses will go directly from the airport to the bus and then to the town. I always forget the name of the town. So this is where it's going to be. And I thought it's probably good to have the buses go through the little hotel area, just in case they can't be bothered to walk, even though it's not that far, but then so anyway, back to the third road system. So the third one is going to be a elevated bus line that goes all the way to the town. So I just wanted it to be elevated and disconnected from the main road because sometimes that main road, it does get really busy when there's a huge influx of cars and trucks and things like that. So I wanted to make sure that that bus the buses do have some kind of very quick option to get from the airport to the big main train station in the town. But you guys will see more of that in a second. So we've put in some little hotels, technically they're residential, but I thought they looked really good. And then I just wanted to add in a little pathway right through there just to connect up the hotel to the actual airport. And then to make it look a little bit more friendly, we're gonna put in some colored plants. And then one step further, I'm going to put in lots of lights so let's go to nighttime just so we can see. I didn't want it to be dark going through this bushy area. I'm gonna put it over the road as well. I didn't, yeah, I didn't want it to be dark because that would be a little bit sketchy. You don't know who's out there, what they're doing, so. Yeah, now we've got a little parking lot there. And um, just one thing, so the, the main road, it comes in with two lanes, but then it gets to the roundabout and then the, the left lane actually goes off and then into the little hotel area. So that's why I wanted to keep two lanes all the way up there. So you can see on the roundabout, the roundabout splits. So the left lane goes to the hotel. Then if you go straight ahead, it goes directly into the airport. So we've got that new direct bus line coming in. So it's just gonna go right along the side there, slightly elevated because I didn't want it to be on the ground because then it's going to change the terrain of the, well, the mountain right there. So I didn't want to touch that. And then it comes straight through here, updating all of these roads here because now that it's not really busy, we can throw in some more bus lanes. And then we're gonna put in a big roundabout here. So this is where the direct bus lane is going to meet with the whole town. And then we're also going to do the other secondary, just local road that goes through the, um, the farmlands and connects up over there as well. Oh my God, look how busy that is. That looks so, looks really good. Look at all the people coming out of the terminal, going to the bus stops, and then there's people actually walking through the car parks. The car parks are full, planes are going over really low, which is a little bit, a little bit worrying. <laughs> a lot of people in there, some of them are waiting for the taxi. So I, I really had to up my taxi game. Um, I don't like how a lot of them are walking through here. I think they actually stopped doing that. There was just a huge influx at first. I don't know why. And ever since I pressed 
um, the realistic parking lot option. Cars have been flying everywhere. I've, <laughs> it's been really, really intense, you guys. Trust me, it's been really intense. We've had these huge um, traffic jams in the parking lots, people going everywhere, cars pushing in front of each other. And then we've also had, like I said, all of these cars just flying everywhere. Harry Potter in the house, they're just going through the bushes. They're like, okay, I wanna go to that building all the way in the other town, let's just float straight ahead. So there it is, you guys. Nothing too grand, but I mean, now it gives us that option to build a lot more along this area because we did demolish a lot of the farmland so we can build a lot more. Traffic isn't actually, look at those flying cars, but traffic isn't actually as bad as I thought. I did remove the real-time mod, so that could be a reason why there's not much traffic now. But yeah, if there is a huge influx of traffic, which sometimes there is, rarely, it does, they, they go straight through, it's not really an issue. And then this bad boy right here, he works pretty, pretty good. I mean, it's not even congested at all. I thought maybe there'd be a little bit, but no, it's going straight through really easy. So it's turned out pretty good. Like I said, this wasn't any huge, big planning grand scheme at all. It wasn't like that. We just needed to do something a little bit more simpler. If this was more in a um, an urban area, a more like close to the downtown area, of course I would have done something a lot bigger, but we don't need it because we're way out of town, but doesn't that look good? Anyway, let's wrap up the episode there. Thanks guys for watching. And um, as always, don't forget to leave suggestions for our other videos. Some of your stock is almost done. So we're, yeah, it's going to be sad when we have to leave it. But anyway, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you all later.